Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be doing some planting today, okay guys? So planting, planting, planting. Um, I just received a box from Michigan Bub in here. So, well, I didn't receive it. I bought these items. <laughs> so the first item, I bought a, a, a blueberry rose a patio bush. So we're going to try that out. Let's see what it looks like. Let me bring you guys in some. So you guys can see what I see. Is that close enough for you guys? All right. So you guys know only uh, do in house. So I put my plants out today because it's really nice and sunny out here today. But I can't leave my plants out here because I live in the projects and I don't want anybody stealing my items. All right, and they will. So I don't I leave them out here. That's why I do uh, gardening indoors. All right, so this is what the blueberry bush look like. Yeah. This is a patio bush, so we're gonna put this on the patio today. It's still nice and damp, I like that. Definitely like how it's starting to get some leaves on it, so that's pretty. So we'll be planting that one today. Next thing I purchased, well, this came free. No, no, this is my um, my blue spruce, um, the um, shrub. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come like this, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Very disappointed in this one here. Unless it's supposed to come like this. It's a blue shrub, blue spruce. Okay. It's kind of a little dry, so we definitely got to plant it today. All right, this item I got is a variegation plant, and it's uh, Blooms Blue. I forget the name of this plant. I don't know how to say it. It's an, it's an iris, a blue iris. And this is the root. It's a bare root. So it comes in this package here. She's a mess in here. I'm not gonna take her out because she's definitely a mess in here. But there are definitely some roots in there. Somebody split this between me and my daughter's little garden. She has a little garden. That's what the roots look like. Inside, guys, so yeah. That's that. I got this plant for free. And then I bought a pomegranate, a dwarf pomegranate plant. Oh, what's up, right? Yep. This. You see, it's the dwarf on the So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Hope she's not really damaged. She comes in a box like this. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Our flowers didn't fall off. Okay, so I guess this was the start of one. I'm going to try to plant it and see what happens. There's a lot of seeds in there, so maybe I'll save the seeds. There's a lot of seeds in there. So we'll save the seeds. But a lot of her... Oh, God, I'm so disappointed. But... This is what she looks like. She does have one coming up here. So that's what she looks like. And this is a pomegranate plant, and this is a dwarf one. Okay. So. It is edible, ornamental. It is edible. We're gonna try them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plant this. Uh, This is bare root um, iris, blue iris. So we're gonna plant this first, get her in the ground. But let me check this out. There's a whole lot of things going on. Okay, well, I won't be able to split this, so I'm just going to 
put this in my ground. Let's do that. Let me bring it over. I'm gonna show you a little tour of my little garden and show you why and show you why I really can't leave this out. But at, before that, we're gonna be planting right in that empty spot right there. Okay. Yeah, so, planting this blue iris right now. The next stuff I get what I have down in the next two, but it's definitely growing. I'm so happy. It looks like it. Yeah, it's growing. Yeah, it's, it's the bare roots, so that's why I make sure I have enough space now. Okay. So, you're gonna put the root ball in first, right? Root ball in first. That's all these roots right here. This, I have a root coming from the back one. So that's why we really can't plant anything in here. Those roses bushes, because they really, like these ones that I had, they really like bloom everywhere. Literally. Everywhere. I think it's gross. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't think this whole thing is planted. So we're going to plant it the whole bottle. I think that's really why it's called the root bottle, right? Alright, there we go. We'll leave some of that at the top. Gotta watch my other little baby over here. I have to plant it right there. And that's all we're gonna do. That's all I do. I mean, I mean it really isn't really a plant in that. It really is nothing to plant in. Just that root ball down in there. Cover it up. Okay, so now my whole root ball is covered up. All right, guys, so as you can see, I covered that whole root ball up. I can't even see myself, but I covered the whole root ball up down here. Let's die, all right? So I'm just going to add the rest of this stuff that came with it on top so I know where I put it. Okay. And I'm just going to mash it down on there. And this is to help absorb some, um, you know, with the water too. Okay. And it's really good. All right, guys. So that one is completed. She's down in there now. Right. It's nice. Okay. So we're gonna bury this blueberry. I think we need to bury this bush seriously because bush. I'm gonna bury it in one of these type of buckets first. Well, not buried, put in this bucket first. And then as it grows out, I'll take it out and put it into the dirt, okay? So. I got some soil. This is a top soil from um, Home Depot. Regular top soil, this is Timberland. Timberland top soil. Oh, guys can see that. Let me bring you down. So it's this top soil right here that we're gonna be using. Oops. All right, that's too heavy for me to pick up. Um, and we're gonna use some of this uh, Fox Farm, Fox Farm uh, soil already. I love this stuff here. Love, love, love this. Stuff. It has all the nutrients that you need in Fox Farms uh, potting soil, find potting mix. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, you don't really need too much fertilizer, but if you use fertilizer, you make sure you use the Fox Farms fertilizer. Right. So. And then we're gonna be for our fruit plants, we're gonna be using Dr. Earth's Natural Wonder Citrus. All right, guys, so make sure when you put down fruit that you use citrus, all right? So, we're gonna put some of this dirt into this. 
hot here because I definitely want to get this spruce into soil. It's very dry. Okay. Now this top soil from Home Depot. Mm, I'll show you guys. All right. So the top soil from Home Depot looks like this. So that's what we're going to be using. Huh? I thought I bought something out of here to scrape this stuff out of here with. But it didn't, of course, so we're going to use two hands to do this. Okay, guys. So let me bring it down a little bit. Hope you guys can see because this sun is really a pillar today, okay? We're enjoying this in New Jersey. I'm definitely enjoying this. So I'm hoping you guys can see this, all right? We haven't had much sun in a minute, so I'm happy that we have all this sun that we have. Nearly 90 degrees today, so I'm happy, excited, so I put my plants out to get some natural sun, which I have to take them back in the house tonight, because I don't want anybody stealing my plants. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna put some dirt in the bottom of there. This one we're gonna really fill up because the spruce is not so big right now, right? So let nice the soil in there. Then we're gonna add some of this ox farm soil on the top. I'm gonna get it open. Let's just cut it. Shop in there. Right. He's like, oh. Okay. Ah, there we go. So we're just gonna throw some of this in here also. And we're gonna mix this, okay guys? So we're not just gonna have like layers, it's gonna be mixed. Alright. Um, just eyeball it. I don't I don't go by ratios and all that. Just eyeball it and then I mix it. and stuff okay and this is all the fertilizer I'm gonna put in it for now because I have some liquid fertilizer also that I'm gonna be throwing down all right guys I hope you guys are enjoying my videos if you are please hit your subscribe button look at that look what that I just found in there inside the soil um, if you like guys like these videos, please hit your subscribe button, also your like button, also the bell notifies you when I've uploaded a video. Alright guys, so we can learn this process together. Everybody's riding past and looking, see that's what I'm saying, that's, that's why I said I could not leave my stuff outside because these people don't do this stuff around here like this. Um, you'll see that somebody's yard might have some flowers in it. Other than that, you don't see them gardening like this, okay? So I have to watch my stuff. Somebody must be in my back because I hear my dogs barking. And they're in the house, but my windows open. My door's open in the back. All right, guys. And I forgot the perlite, so we're going to be adding perlite too, okay? Yeah. I got this big bag for $4.99. Right, that's perlite. That's absorb some of the uh, water also. Because you don't want to overplant them, overwater them, I meant. So, this is going to be a long video, guys. I don't know. We'll see how much we can chop down off of it. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are planting something today, no matter what it is. You should be out planting, enjoying the sun if you have it. Is I am enjoying this sun. Yes, I am. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of perlite on top. And then we're gonna mix this. What is that? Freaking bugs, like the bite goes from bugs. Okay. So, we put enough of this in here. You put like two handfuls. Okay to the side there and just mix it on top 
Okay. And then we're gonna take this spruce, uh, blue spruce uh, shrub out of the packet. We're gonna take, cause you know, shrubs are deep so, uh, soil works, right? So we're gonna plant it as tall as the ball itself and just put it inside there. Okay, guys? So hope you guys can see this. No, you can't see this. Let's bring it down a little more. All right, can you guys see that? There we go. Okay, so that's what we did. We just planted the spruce inside there. Always use your extra stuff that they give you that's in the bag that falls off. And that's all we have to do, guys. That is it. Now, this is supposed to be a spruce. So we are definitely going to see if this is a spruce. Or, well, you know how it grows up. You and I together, okay? All right. So that's what that is, all right? So the more it grows up, the more dirt I'll just put in, okay? So that one is completed. Ooh. I forget how many. This might be a three-gallon or five-gallon, not sure. But I do have some seven-gallon buckets, um, bags here. And I'm going to put my... Okay, we're going here to put, next thing we're going to have to put in here, we're going to put our blueberry porch plant in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is put some soy at the bottom, as usual. And it sticks out of there. You know, break up that dirt that you see you find just break it on up okay. I'm gonna put a couple at the bottom just enough you know because they touch the dirt they like the dirt so all plants like to have some soil to breathe in okay so that's what we're gonna do okay now for my fruit plants I'm going to mix the fertilizer on top together, both fertilizers on top of the fertilizer soil and also the fertilizer itself, the citrus fertilizer. I just want to get some soil on here. I wish I had a, oh no, I thought I had a container where I could just grab this stuff out of here, but hey. This is gardening, guys. You're supposed to expect, you're supposed to just dig your hands in and get your hands dirty. My hands dirty. It's okay. It's okay to get the hands dirty. Pretty sure you had a mud pie or two when you were little. <laughs> or playing in the mud anyway. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. Now, um, also with this one here, the more it grows up, the more dirt I'll put in it. And then what's great about what's great about these bags, guys? These grow bags. You can bend down. Look. As far as you need it, you don't need to fill this whole bag up. This is one of the bags I have my sweet potatoes in and my potatoes in. Look at this. You can roll this bag as far down as you like. So I'm going to roll it about this far. And the more it gets big, the more I'll just put more dirt. Look at that. That's another thing I want to show you guys. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's why I love these grow bags. You don't have to use the whole bag. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put some of this Fox Farm on there. Okay. Okay. Alright, sorry about that guys. We're gonna use some of this citrus fertilizer right here. Like the first natural organic citrus. Okay, so we just take a handful of this. Okay, you don't need a lot of that. Well, you know what? This might be a heavy fever, so I'm not sure. So we're just gonna feed some more. Mix it on the top only. <laughs> okay. Go 
gonna grab some of this soil. I'll put some more soil. Let's go fill it up. That's what you're doing. Fill the rest of this bag up. Don't worry, I don't really need that soil. Okay. Just wanna make sure that. Got that bag filled up. Nice. Okay. Take some perlite. Get two big two handfuls, because this is a big one. You just mix it on the top. Mix just to mix the top, okay guys? Just mix the top part. Just mix the top part. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a hole in here because we want to make sure we have our blueberry which is here all right guys so like i said we're gonna do our blueberry plant right here we're out here mowing so i hope you guys can hear me this is our patio blueberry plant so we dug some we'll make sure i ain't to the ground though <laughs> all right we're gonna plant her to the bug all right to the bug. She's planted in there. To the bug. Use the rest of what they give you. Okay. So now our blueberry is planted. All right, guys. Ow. Oh, Okay, now we have to plant one more plant, and that is our pomegranate plant. Another seven gallon bag. I love these bags because you can carry them, move them out the way with the handles. You can get eBay, Amazon. Here's an idiot coming over here with one of these blow to one torches. Job, so we cannot do it. But he's being an idiot in that. Okay, so we're gonna throw some of the dirt down. Good soil, oh, okay. The best soil in my book. We're just gonna fill her up, okay. Fill her up, okay. All right, that's the best soil you ever learn to find, okay. Pearl light in her more, even though you see some in there, but I like to put fresh pearl light in there. Mix that some more. Okay. Then you're gonna put your citrus in there. The best, all right? Dr. Earth is the best. Okay, you're gonna put two handfuls. Okay? Because we don't know if these are heavy feeders. Just in case. All right, you want to mix that in there like that. Just mix it on the top. Don't mix it deep, deep. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. Oh. Okay. And then we're going to put the dirt on the top. Some more dirt, the dirt soil, I call it. The top soil. The top. 
fill her up. Just empty the rest of the bag. Alright. Alright. And that is that. Now you guys can see what it is. Soil. Okay, guys. On the floor. I forget my seat. You know those bags are really cheap. Right? And then we're going to throw some more pearl light on top of them. So the more she grows, I'm gonna put more dirt, okay? Just making a hole. I'm gonna put this beauty in there. She has one fruit on there, one flower. Let's see what she's got going on in here. Not be messing up my pomegranate plant. Okay. This is a three inch pot. She has roots at the bottom here coming out so far at the bottom there. You guys can see that. She has roots there. Give her a little tickle tickle on each side so she can come out. There we go. Start at the bottom. Now let's check her out. She does have roots going all the way around. If you guys can see the roots. They're brown. So we definitely got to plant her. Alright, so we're just gonna plant her up here to the end of the bulb. Okay. End of the bowl. There we go. Plant her nice and tight in there. Alright, guys. So, my lady is planted. Alright, guys. Wonderful. She is planted. So, now we're going to plant our pomegranate. I wanted to replant this um, Black Beauty uh, eggplant, so I'm gonna replant her into a seven gallon pot. Also, <coughs> it's gonna get messed up, but I wanted to replant her, and I wanted to replant um, my. Uh, my, uh, what is those? Those cantaloupes. So I think I'm gonna do three and three in each bag, and then I'm gonna do because that's a three inch pot over there that have those six cantaloupes on them. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm gonna just put three cantaloupes in one and three cantaloupes in another, and take a three inch and put use for my eggplant. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that one for the eggplant, okay? Not these. So these are gonna be for my cantaloupes, all right? So we'll put those to the side over here. I'm just gonna move my plants down so I can get what I'm gonna use. So since we're gonna do the uh... so this right here is my cantaloupes here, so I'm gonna be taking these out and I'm gonna just uh, use the seven gallon bags. But of course I'm gonna fold them up a little bit, but I'm gonna put three and three instead. And then this bag here, I'm gonna this is I think it's a three gallon bag, I think. I'm not sure. Um it doesn't say it, but I'm gonna use this one for my eggplant. Okay, so <sighs> In order to do that, I'm just going to take these out, and I will show you what the roots look like. That's what the roots look like on there. They're still babies, so yeah. So I'm just going to pull them all out one by one, so I don't mess anything up. Dig all the way at the bottom. Just shake them off all that dirt. There's another one there. I grew these from seeds. They absolutely look good. 
So I did grow some seeds because I'm going to use the soil for the eggplant. I'm not going to even take all this out. You know, it's just easier. Just take these out. There's some more roots there. Beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? They're gorgeous. I need to put them in bigger pots. I want to have small, small ones, but not big ones either. putting any thing in here because to me it's not a fruit it's a vegetable so we're going to put some of this fertilizer phosphorum fertilizer in here mix that up in there but not mix it so much just mix it about eight plant is going to go in here we're going to put some of this pearl light in there Definitely mix that. Okay. And then we're gonna put we're gonna use this too because I, I want this on my uh eight so just gonna mix that. Just just mix that. Make sure that goes in there. Okay. And it's like a slow releasing fertilizer, so it's gonna be good. Okay, so now we're just gonna dig a nice hole in there this eggplant to go okay so you guys can see that right and this is my eggplant this is the black beauty eggplant better watch it because she has thorns on her her uh leaves so i'm just going to try to take the bulb out there we go oh yeah she grew a lot she definitely grew a lot let me show you the bulb. I mean, the, 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 yeah, she definitely grew a lot, especially her uh, roots. You see those roots? Yeah, those roots look good. She definitely grew a lot. So what we're gonna do is try to dig her in there. Dig her in the bottom here, somewhere, somewhere. Somewhere. All right, don't worry about that. You can just push it right on back in there. See that? It's on the porch. Don't worry. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is just pinch her here at the bottom. I'm going to put her. Okay. I'm going to pinch that leaf. Okay. I don't want any leaves at the bottom. Okay. And then now she's going to be perfect growing up in here. Okay, and then these um, will give you like four to six, um, in, between, in between four to six uh, eggplants. Um, if you prune them, keep pruning what you got to do to give you more, but at one time it's going to be like four to six. Okay, and that's going to be our eggplant right there. Then she was beautiful and like, standing up. And set my door. Okay, so we're just going to move her into place, and then I'm going to give you guys a little tour of what everything looks like after I plant my cantaloupe, okay? So now we're going to do three and three cantaloupes. So another seven, another seven gallon bag. Y'all know these videos are going to be long, honey. I don't like short garden videos. That's, I don't. Unless you're just talking about one particular thing. I'm sweating my tail off over here, but hey, this keeps my mind off of things. So yeah, they're gonna do about that much. We might even fill these bags up, all right? Let me get some potting soil. This is why I tell you I can't garden outside. I don't have any space. And then we can't garden outside, we can't. I can't leave food out. Uh. 
All right, so this is another seven gallon bag that we're gonna use. I'm gonna put some topsoil in it. Let's see if we can even lift this bag up, honey. This would be nice. This would be nice, yep. Perfect. Shake, rattle and roll, shake, rattle and roll. Yeah, that's good. That's so good. Okay, now that was good. That was perfect. Okay, guys. So then we got that up. Up here, guys. Okay. We're gonna put some of this fox fucking up. We're gonna put some perlite in there. Mix that all around. So this fox farm is the best in the whole nation. Uh, in there and put it on top and then we put some of the soil in here top soil ah! Thanks. let's see how far your girl is alright not that strong all out of it oh. okay 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 don't forget your Dr. Earth's uh, citrus, all right? Some of that in there. Don't forget that citrus, honey. Don't forget that citrus, boo. All right, just do it on the top, not so much at the bottom, all right? Okay. So we're just going to do three of them, okay? Like I showed you guys, all right? Because I want to just do three. And I want to plant them a little, yeah, a little more down deeper than they were. Okay. Just going to plant them in the middle. There we go. Okay. And once they start doing their thing, I will trellis them up. But for now, we'll just let them do their thing out here. Down I want them down a little further than they were in the uh, other bucket, the other bag, right? So that's one bag of cantaloupe. And the first when it grows up more, I'll just put more dirt so you can at least get some type of size, nice size bulbs out of these cantaloupe. Okay, guys, because we're growing in bags, so. I'm gonna fold one more time. Ooh, honey, it's a lot of work. But is it worth it? Yes. It's always worth it when you're going to try to feed your family, guys. All right. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this dirt. <laughs> Okay, there we go. See that? How would you reuse your dirt, especially if it's good soil? It's good soil, you use it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. So, put some more soil in here. Fill that baby. More. Okay. Oh, I have more soil, guys. More of this top soil. I have lots of it. All right. Then we're gonna add some of this perlite in there. Just put two handfuls of perlite. No more than that in there. That's what I do. You just eyeball it. Move it around. Okay. Get on top, you're gonna put some of this fox fur. So I don't have any more of this. I have to get some more of this. So I'm trying not 
trying not to uh, waste it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's nice. Now, don't, don't forget to drop the earth, guys. Drop the earth. All right. Don't you forget that. Don't forget that. Don't let me come for you. <laughs> All right. You'll know, spray that in there. Got the earth stuff has it. that good stuff for you. <sighs> now you want to mix this, all right? Because don't forget this uh, Fox Farm uh, soil, it's a fertilizer, okay? Also, so you mix those together. And then we're going to put some top soil on top of here and put our cute uh, um, melons in here. And then we're finished. I'll cancel those. I'm so in here. Well, it's part of the family. And then we will be finished, guys. I'm trying to uh, get as much as I can in here. And then let's see. Uh oh, so I'm, 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 I'm wasting my soil. Is she outside in her garden there? I'm wasting my soil right now, so you don't want to waste your soil <laughs> as much as I wasted the soil. You don't want to waste it. Alright, let's see. 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 let don't waste too much, all right? And these, I'm just gonna plant the uh, uh the other three, and I think I'm just gonna land the soil, some more soil in there too. I'm gonna put some more soil on that other one to finish the soil off. So I like to plant these a little deeper than how they were rising up in the first bag. And these are my cantaloupe. I planted from seed. So, yes, I'm very excited for that for myself. And it came out beautiful. Okay. One more down. And okay, guys. Now, tell me she doesn't look good. And this is the way you want your cantaloupes to look, guys. Nice and good like this. So this is what you want your can look to look like, guys. It's like this here in this bag here. Nice with some soil on it right here. Okay, guys, so this is what you want your soil to look like. So I have three cantaloupes on here, and then I have three in this bottom bag here. So I'm going to add some more soil to this bottom bag, and then we'll be finished. And then we'll be finished. All right, guys? And then I will take you around my garden and show you my little garden. How I got it set up in the morning. My babies came to visit me this morning. Got in his heat with me. Hey, mama. They just know I'm doing a video right now. They around here though. They know I'm doing a video, so they 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 used to be doing videos, being quiet. Me too, girl. Video, video, okay, guys. So that's all I'm doing. I just want to make sure that my babies are nice and tight. Okay, all right. I think I'm putting some more soil on this. Just throwing shit out. Oh, soil going everywhere, guys. Everywhere. It's all right. It's all right. And the bees are out today, so I'm happy because now they get to. <laughs> Now they get to pollinate my rest of my plants that are out here today. Give me some free pollination. Okay. So as the more most when this grows up, this uh, shrub grows up, I'll put more soil in it. Um, and I think we are finished for today, guys. With this, so I'm gonna take you around my little garden and show you around that, and then we'll be finished for today. All right, guys. So if you like these type of videos, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, also hit your bell notifies you when I've uploaded a video. everything up um yeah we're definitely gonna wet things up out here too okay i do have the wet around here the spray out here you can get this from 
Home Depot for ten dollars. It comes with this nozzle, and it's just easy. You pump and you spray. That's all you do. I love it. This does have liquid fertilizer in it, but um, natural liquid fertilizer. So it has coffee in there, liquid coffee, and it also has a uh, banana uh, tea water in there. Okay. So you just pump and you just spray. See that? Love the sprayer. So I'm just gonna spray around, and later I'm just really gonna douse all these plants, but I just wanna get some water around the plants right now so they can have something to drink. And that's all we do, guys, that's all we do. So each and every one of these is gonna get some water on them, and that's it. So, but because this video is long, we're gonna take you around the tour really quick, and then I'll water my plants. All right, guys? And I'll tell you what everything is in a moment. Soon as I can get adjusted here. Never. Right. Oh, that's my problem. Oh, that's my problem. Nope. Okay, I guess that ain't mine. <laughs> you said, we're never going. We're never I want my ear pop. Hey, Grandma. Hey, baby. Hold on, baby, okay? Grandma, I'm going to be with you one minute. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take you around my garden just to show you what it looks like on the outside because you know guys know what it looks like on the inside. So this is gonna be the outside, but I will be taking my plants back inside. I don't want anybody stealing them. I'm sorry, I got you guys upside down. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like here. So up there on the top right there, that's uh, spinach all the way in the back. And as you guys seen today, we did our blueberries these are cantaloupes. This is the uh, blue spruce shrub. And I'm very disappointed in that shrub. Okay. And we got some collard greens down there. Those are some potatoes, white potatoes, Yukon. And then we got sweet potatoes right there. That's my fig tree. I had to chop her all the way back, but I know she would grow back. She's laying in dormant right now. All right. And then we have some... Um, we can see it growing up a little bit in there. I forget what side is what side, but I have cantaloupe and I also, I'm sorry, I have uh, llama beans and I also have uh, the bush hanging, the basket hanging uh, cucumbers in one side, all right? So I'm not sure what side is growing up right now, all right? They have these beautiful white flowers, I forget the name of those. Then you guys see me do the pomegranate tree, all right? My scallion onions, they always grow back for me. You guys see me planted this iris down here. I forget the name of this plant here. And then we have some sweet mint I'm trying to bring back and some spearmint I'm trying to bring back. Some more plants. This is going to be my um, broccoli. I forget what's in here. This is going to be watermelon. Uh, the sugar, the uh, sweet sugar babies. I'm going to be trollicing them nose up. These are going to be carrots. Also right here, as you guys have seen, I did my eggplant, my black beauty eggplant. This is cab um, cabbage, guys. Look how that cabbage is growing. That's, it's from the bottom of the cabbage. I chopped that off and just planted it in the dirt. Do not add no water in there. Just put it in the dirt and it grows. Look at that. That's amazing. That cabbage looks good. Another rose, uh, what is that, sun um, blaze rose. And then I have an orange, fruiting orange plant here. Okay. And then my big, gorgeous rose bush. This was dedicated to my son and my stepson. And we grew that from like, when it was a small, small little stump. Gorgeous, isn't she? All right, then I have another rose bush. She does what she wants. I don't know what she's doing, but she does what she wants every year. So we just let her go from there. Down there, we got some strawberries coming, hopefully. Here I have a tomato plant. This is a chocolate sprinkles tomato plant. This one is, um, wait a minute. No, this is the Sweet Millions. That one is the chocolate. My banana plant out here. I got some peppers out here. 
some more peppers and some more peppers then my tomatoes you guys see these are growing good guys look at that these are the bush uh patio tomatoes these two here so yeah that is my little garden back there i got some soil but like i said they cannot grow anything out here in this garden because they will steal my stuff so i have to put it out inside in my greenhouse but i brought it outside so i'm getting a little bit of sun today all this natural sun there's my grandson and my other baby that's my daughter and my other cantaloupe guys and we are finished guys all right guys so it's raining now outside and i got my plants out because i really wanted to give it some rainwater, and i could never catch enough rain in my bucket so i'm just gonna have them sit out over here overnight and let them dry out and all that so that's what they look like it started raining out i was so excited My plants are getting some of that good nitrogen, rainwater. Look at my tomatoes, pepper plants. Oh my goodness, they just look good. All right guys, so don't forget, let's grow together so we can eat together.